right there right now to cheer them on and soaking in the atmosphere in the ancient capital, here's Jason Chan. Hi everyone, I'm Jason Chan. Welcome to Beijing. There's a real buzz and excitement here right now because we are just minutes away from what is expected to be one of the grandest Olympic opening ceremonies ever. I'm standing in front of two of the showpiece arenas of these games, the National Aquatic Center, otherwise known as the Water Cube, and of course, the Bird's Nest Stadium. Now, the Bird's Nest Stadium tonight is going to play host to over 150,000 people. That includes over 10,000 athletes and thousands more officials, dignitaries, spectators, performers, and of course, media. Tonight's opening ceremony is going to be directed by the legendary Zhang Yimou, so we're all very excited. Now, Team Singapore has brought 25 in their contingent this year. They're hoping to win a medal. It will be their first medal since 1960. Now, this is about to ride in the grand race of Formula V6 Asia. Now, this is the most advanced single-seater Formula race in Asia. Yep, it's also said to be the training ground for Formula One, the highest class of motor racing. That's right. Drivers who make it in Formula V6 have a much better chance of competing to race in the prestigious Formula One world. Sapporo is Japan's fifth largest city. And while it doesn't have the craziness of Tokyo or Osaka, it is still filled with people, cars, bicycles, and energy. In fact, Susukino, which is just a few blocks down, is the largest entertainment district north of Tokyo. It is an entertainment, foodies, and shopper's paradise. Let's go shopping. I feel like I've just walked into a postcard or a painting. This is one of the famous flower farms of the Bay Area. Not only do we have the rolling hills in the background, but these fields are planted and replanted throughout the season, so they're always in bloom and absolutely spectacular. We've just been traveling on the Nisho Pass and experiencing some amazing views. The best time to come is at dusk, when you can see the natural light fade and the glimmer of the city lights as the city comes to life. Well, after a little bit of translating, I worked out what these are. These are basically balls of algae that they grow in water and uh, they need very little light, they don't need feeding and they're I suppose just like little pets. <laughs> they're very cute. They're called marimo. And this is definitely more comfortable and the view is infinitely better. On a good day you can see seals basking out on those rocks. Actually it's quite romantic. I feel like I could be on a movie set somewhere. You can see everyone's trying to get on camera. There are people all around here who are just working themselves into camera like that. I'm a bit squeamish about it because I just saw it alive there, but it's really good. It vibrates Vibrate. when you pull its genitals. <laughs> ah, I love the Japanese. <laughs> we are honored to have with us three players from the 1977 Malaysia Cup winning team. Will it be silver or will it be a dazzling gold? With the entire country behind them, Singapore's paddlers know they've already created history and are big winners, no matter what the color of the medal might be. My name is Jason Chan, reporting in Beijing for Channel 5. Over the next two and a half weeks, we'll be bringing you more reports and updates from Team Singapore. So be sure to catch the daily highlights at 11 p.m. on Channel 5. That's it from me. Enjoy the opening ceremony and back to you guys in the studio. Thanks very much, Jason. He looks unusually happy, doesn't he? He does. Indeed.